In QuickBooks, you can't sell anything without setting up items for your products or services. Hopefully, you've read the PDF called About Items that gives you an overview of items, item types, and how items are used. You can find it in the Working Files folder. This video covers how to create items for services you provide to your customers, such as consulting by project or labor by the hour. I'm using the sample company file for landscaping company. The file is called landworks underscore items and is located in the working files folder. You can open it to follow along or you can just watch the video. So one thing to think about for services you provide is how do you charge for them by the hour or by the project? So for example, let's say that a dog shrink provides psychological counseling for both dogs and their owners. She does a short half hour consultation for $55 and an hour's consultation for $100. She also does quick 15-minute follow-up consultations for $25 to address one specific question the owner might have. She needs to create three service items in QuickBooks, one for the half-hour session, one for the hour session, and another one for the quick question. So let's add an item for a service. Click the Items and Services icon on the home page. You can see that several items have already been set up for this company, but we're going to add a new service item. So click the item button at the bottom and choose new. Select service. Click in the item name number field and type a unique name or code for this service. When you create an invoice, this is the name you will see. So you want it to be recognizable to you. I'm making a service item for an initial consult on landscape design as opposed to the actual design process, so I'll call it consulting. If you want to make this item a sub-item, click the sub-item of checkbox and choose the parent item, and I will choose landscaping services. This is a service provided by myself, that is, it's not performed by a subcontractor, so I'll leave this checkbox unchecked. Later in this video, I'll show you of an example on how to use this checkbox. By the way, the word assemblies here does not apply to QuickBooks Pro. Assemblies are used only in premier and higher versions. So, under the description. So here, type the description as you want it to appear on the sales form when a customer purchases the service. You want the description to be clear and understandable. So I will type landscape design consulting by the hour. In the rate field, type the amount you charge your customers for this service. You can enter either a flat fee or an hourly rate. On an invoice, you enter how many the customer is purchasing. So for a flat rate, the customer would be purchasing one. For an hourly rate, you would enter the number of hours on the invoice. For this consulting, I charge $55 an hour. So 55. Note that you could leave this rate blank, and when you use the item on an invoice, you can change the amount as needed. When adding an item, you can indicate whether the item is taxable. States differ on what is considered taxable. In some states, food items are not taxed. In others, clothing is not taxed. So you'd need to check with your state for the rules. In most states, services are not taxed, so I will select non-taxable. From the account menu, choose the income account to use to track the income from when you perform the service. And I'll choose design services as the income account. Okay, that's one service down. Click next and we'll add another. In some cases, you may want to use an item on both invoices and purchase orders. We're getting back to that checkbox we ignored earlier. For example, the landscape design company offers a tree removal service, but does not do that work itself. Instead, a subcontractor is hired as needed. So in this case, the service item would be used on the purchase order for the subcontractor and on the invoice for the customer. You charge the customer for the work and then pay the subcontractor for that work. So make sure service is selected and click in the item name and number field. I will type tree removal and I'll make it a sub item of landscaping services and this is a service that is both purchased and sold so I will check this checkbox you'll see that this expands the 
Purchase Information, and the Sales Information fields. For the Purchase side of things, click in the description box and type the description you want to appear on the purchase order when you order this service. I'll type Tree Removal and Disposal. Click in the Cost field and type the amount you pay for the service, either a flat fee or an hourly rate. But I'm going to leave this blank because the cost will vary depending on the job. And from the Expense Account menu, choose the Expense Account to use to track the purchase of this item, and I will choose Subcontractors. If you have a company you prefer to use, you can choose it here, Tree Wiseman. On the sales side of things, you can see that QuickBooks has already filled in the description based on what you typed for the purchase information. And I will just remove those two words, just say tree removal. Then for the sales price, you would type it in this field, but I'm going to leave this blank because the cost will vary, again, depending on the job. And from the tax code menu, I'll choose non-taxable, it's a service. And the income account, I will choose Landscape Maintenance. So click OK to save this item and close the new item window. So let me quickly show you both a purchase order and an invoice to show you how the item works. Let's close this. So let's open a purchase order and I'll show you how this two-sided item works. So I'll click in the item column and choose the service tree removal. And I'm purchasing this from a vendor and if you'll recall, the description on the vendor side was tree removal and disposal. And as needed, you could fill in the quantity and or rate. So let's just close this and I'll open an invoice and show you how this would look on the customer side. So we'll click in the item column and choose tree removal. And you'll see that the and disposal words do not appear because I took them off on the customer side. And again, you would type the rate and the quantity as needed. So let's close this. And so that's it for adding service items. There are several other types of items you can add, which are covered in other videos.